Oof. Like, Straight to the point, man. You just like, who's holding you back, man? You. Never. <laughs> yeah, like, you know what? Ask yourself, are your loved ones holding you back? You know, are you living their dream or your dream? Are you, are you working the job that you wanted? Or do you have the business that you wanted? Or, you know, are you living your mom and dad's dream? Or your older siblings or your whoever, significant other? You know, to be raw and authentic, you need to live your own dream. And, and, and in business, I find a lot of people that don't do well is because you know, they took over mom and dad's business and it was, it was never their passion or their, or their drive. And that's why they keep failing on it. Oh, here's another thing, you know, do you guys, you know, watch what you say or watch what you do because you worry about who's watching and that's, that's not being yourself. No. That's, uh, that's dead and plus others, it's not good. All right, we're going to go meet with Ryan from uh, top five banks in Canada. He works for one of them. So first time I'm meeting with him. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Once in a while I get those deals because I've, I've worked with those realtors before and they just kind of like the way I work and stuff. So they're like, hey, look and, listen, could you take a look at this? I usually have contacts at the bank. It's like, well, I'll, I'll, give, no, I'll give you a call. Hey, could you guys, could you take a quick look at this one and, and go from there? Now, is that my, is that my market? No, it's not. So what's your wheelhouse? What's private, your preferred private? Private construction is... Because it's higher percentage rate kind of thing? No, because I, I, I got control with the cash. <laughs> there's, there's no waiting game man I, I know when a deal comes to me in the morning I have my investors lined up I know I can I can have a yes or a no within hours and funded within a couple of days right and closed off so I like that that's just the way I operate You're not living your, your life, you're not living your dream. If they're telling you what to become in life, you know, who to hang around with and how to act around people, or you, know, you don't have a choice to, to go somewhere or do something, yeah, then you know you're being held back. So are you living life in your terms or somebody else's? So, so this vlog is set up in a way where I, ba I build my influence, and then once I get that influence, now the influence is entrepreneurs. Once I get that, I can start networking out to these guys, saying, hey, listen, if you got business for sale, i love to buy them. To me, that's better than the stock market, that's better than real estate, because you, you're getting in there, you're making those changes, and, and sometimes all these things are missing is that little piece, right? Might be the advertising side, might be uh, the sales side, or might be they're just bleeding capital because they're just overspending it somewhere. Bingo, man. Second Second generation, yeah. first generation businesses. We were just talking about that on the way here, right? You got mom and dad, that was their passion to start this business. And the kids don't want it, they want to go somewhere else, right? And you get something like that, there's just tons of opportunity, man. Deal with it, man. It's not, but you know what? Nothing's, good. Nothing's easy. Just a matter of them saying, hey, look, whoever it is, spouse, mom, dad, older brother, older sister, kids. Whoever, this is not me. I'm not in this world to make you happy. I'm here to live my life and make myself happy. Because at the end of the day, man, you're the only one that's gonna make you smile in this world, nobody else, right? If you're not doing something and you're not authentic with yourself, it's a hard world to live. You're living your life based on somebody else's dreams, not yours. But there's a part of me that wants to do like cast iron. <laughs> right like because you know in a hundred years from now that's not going to change i just don't like the exploration brokering that stuff i love product itself you know something that has a shelf life yeah no, i'm not i'm not into that you know if i was you what would i do i would be branding myself as peyton manning i've heard that before yeah man <laughs> like, this, is, right? this is guys we're here with peyton manning <laughs> One of us is more successful than the other. We won't say which. <laughs> You're not the first guy to say that, yeah. Let me phrase this a little bit. Yeah, I'm compassionate. I don't want to hurt people. But at the same time, I never want anyone to hold me, hold me back, hold me down. 
it's going to be a challenge, right? Because they're your loved ones at the end of the day. There's a time where you have to explain to them that this, this is not my life. This is not what I want to be doing. You know, you young guys watching this, young guys and girls, just live your own life, man, not somebody else's. So what drives you? What makes you happy? Do that. Thank you.